pure, fresh water, the world's most important economic mineral. Falling out of the sky, flowing freely over the land and through the earth, no matter where you live, it is the one natural resource necessary for survival. All water is part of the hydrologic cycle. The fresh water on Earth is replenished by precipitation, which either runs off into lakes and rivers or percolates into the ground to be tapped by wells. As sources of potable water, surface supplies have advantages. They are easy to find and easy to measure. They are, however, costly to utilize, subject to contamination, and are affected by drought. On the other hand, groundwater supplies are free of many of these problems. And for many arid regions, wells are the only source of water available. Of all the fresh water on Earth, 97% lies hidden beneath the surface. Ironically, 81% of the water used is drawn from surface supplies. Why does this vast underground resource go untapped? Historically, groundwater, especially deep groundwater, has been shrouded in mystery, the subject of folklore and fantasy. Traditional methods of mapping complex underground environments have failed to accurately depict the location and nature of these resources. In the early 70s, the founders of BCI believed that major advances in exploration and development of natural resources could be realized. This was made possible by the advent of modern concepts of exploration geology and the availability of sophisticated field instrumentation. By the end of the decade, BCI had developed a formal, proven method of groundwater exploration called the MESA program. With the application of this program, BCI pioneered the location and development of water supplies from fractured bedrock and successfully challenged the conventional wisdom that high-yielding rock wells could not be located with any degree of accuracy. The traditional approach uses random test drilling as a primary exploration tool. This yields unpredictable results at a high cost. Using the MESA program, much of this information can be easily and inexpensively obtained before setting foot on the ground. The premise of the MESA program is that groundwater, like oil, gas, and other minerals, is found in specific environments, which can be predictably located and evaluated. To accomplish this, BCI integrates many types of data, ranging from imagery received from remote orbital platforms to specialized geophysical surveys designed to map underground structures. Only after favorable sites are identified do drilling, development, and testing begin. The results? Wells that pump safe, reliable water. Previous engineering studies in many arid third world countries had determined that the only solution to local water needs was impoundment and diversion of what little surface water was available. These supplies were often insufficient or contaminated. This was the case in the high desert of northwest Somalia in 1984. BCI was asked to locate wells within this 14,000 square mile area, home to several thousand Ethiopian refugees. This region had been thoroughly examined for decades by scientists from the United States and many other nations with few tangible results. Within two years, BCI scientists located and drilled deep rock wells that yield an unprecedented amount of water, over one million gallons per day. A vital element of the MESA program strategy is the use of space age technologies. During the Somalia project, a new research tool was tested by BCI scientists in cooperation with NASA. This instrument, called a large format camera, was carried aboard the space shuttle in 1984, and the resulting photographs enabled BCI exploration teams to quickly identify and evaluate previously unmapped and remote areas of the Somali desert. In this case, the site of the new regional capital city of Baki. Dr. Farouk El Baz, advisor to former President Anwar Sadat of Egypt, is now director of the Center for Remote Sensing at Boston University. He collaborated with NASA in the development of the large format camera and talks about the role of this new instrument in BCI's research. Space photographs were utilized by a group of geologists in picking out areas that would have the most potential for groundwater. These are cracks or fractures in the ground that would have accumulated water from very large uh, areas and the water would have been stored 
through geologic time or for thousands of years or for hundreds of years, we don't really know for certain how long. These water uh, reservoirs, so to speak, can be pumped, can be used as a uh, source for fresh water. And today we witness an area in this part of uh, Somalia that has now produced through wells drilled during 1986 somewhere near a million gallons of fresh water a day. That is a vast amount of fresh water that definitely can change the lives of many in this part of the arid uh, world. While the need for water is apparent in arid climates, the same problems can occur anywhere. In New England, BCI has compiled an unparalleled track record. This underground camera is being lowered into a bedrock well drilled in Seabrook, New Hampshire, where numerous consultants had searched in vain for 25 years and came up dry. BCI located and developed this supply in less than a year. It contributes to more than 1.3 million gallons a day pumped from three wells drilled by BCI. 200,000 gallons a day flow from this fracture. These wells, along with those located by BCI in several other New England communities, continue to pump high-quality drinking water from bedrock aquifers. When the town of Putnam, Connecticut faced a major water crisis, it appeared that the only solution was to search for additional gravel wells or to augment existing surface supplies. This traditional approach was reflected in a letter sent to the town expressing concern over BCI's proposal for deep bedrock wells. BCI believed their proposal to be a practical and low-cost alternative. After considering the choices, the town opted for BCI's bedrock exploration program and was rewarded with a yield of over a million gallons a day from a single well. The experience of the past 14 years has enabled BCI to locate productive drill sites with confidence. In 28 of the last 29 projects completed, BCI's results exceeded the client's needs. These successes are due to the ability of the exploration team to correctly interpret data gleaned from diverse sources for diverse environments. This synthesis of man and machine is the keystone of the MESA program. So when we take that uh, combination of using space photographs, getting a group of field geologists that know what they are doing, using space-age geophysical methods and techniques, you put all that together and you really reach a state-of-the-art group that are definitely ahead of the game. Looking for the groundwater resources using all of these space age uh, techniques is not really something that has been talked about and something that is theoretical. It is indeed a workable technology. It has been proven. It works well in arid areas and it actually works well in humid regions. So this is something that we know works and we have tried it and it has been most successful. Just as the MESA program is the foundation of BCI's success, water itself is the basis of life, growth, and future prosperity. Flowing from the ground, it can change the course of events, provide new possibilities. BCI can be a part of that future.